Last week, the Indiana Senate Public Policy Committee heard testimony regarding Senate Bill 354. The bill would allow full house resorts to establish a casino in Terre Haute. When we broke this story, you responded with several questions. News 10's John Swanner has followed it all from the beginning. He joins us now with some answers. John? Thank you, Rondrell and Patrice. And in our quest for answers, we went straight to the source. We spoke with two executives from Full House Resorts. We wanted to know what their plans are for Terre Haute and why they believe gaming will help this community. It's part one of All In in Terre Haute. The Rising Star Casino in Rising Sun, Indiana is just downstream on the Ohio River from Cincinnati. Full House Resort says they're the smallest casino operator in the state. When the Rising Star Casino was developed here back in the 90s, uh, it was a very much smaller gaming market here. When it opened, the Rising Star was one of only three casinos in the Cincinnati market. Since then, Indiana opened more casinos, including French Lick in 2006 and Racinos in Anderson and Shelbyville in 2007. When I first started here, it was just two casinos. Now there's, you know, eight casinos. And then, of course, Ohio legalized gaming, and there's been gambling uh, casinos now in, in the Cincinnati and Dayton areas. That was 2011, hurting Rising Star's bottom line. In 1998, the Rising Star made $160 million in revenue. That figure dropped to just over $40 million in 2015. We just don't have the need for all the gambling games that we're authorized to have here. The Rising Star license allows for up to 1,500 gambling game stations. However, a full house only uses half. The idea behind Senate Bill 354 is to move the unused 750 gaming stations under the Rising Sun license to a new Terre Haute facility. It would be uh, an investment of somewhere between 100 to 150 million dollars, all private investment by us. Full House would also build a hotel, space for entertainment and meetings, as well as retail and restaurants. The decision to locate a casino in Terre Haute boils down to geography. There are no casinos in Indiana or Illinois within a two-hour drive of Terre Haute. That allows us to uh, capture a lot of revenues from the Illinois market while only having negligible impacts on other Indiana casinos. At last Wednesday's public policy hearing, representatives from French Lake Resort said they support Senate Bill 354, while the Evansville Chamber strongly opposes it. If the bill passes, Full House could open a casino in Terre Haute in mid to late 2019 if all goes well although Full House Resorts has no specific site in mind. What I'm doing right now is meeting with local leaders and trying to take temperatures on, you know, what, what is it that the city would prefer? At our property, you're on a boat. So you have four levels on the boat at Terre Haute. It'd be a land-based facility, single floor, um, nice entrance. Um, you'll, you'll get a lot of bells and whistles that, um, you know, just from the new technology that's out there. And we'll talk more about that expected financial windfall that Terre Haute could receive from a proposed casino tomorrow. And we'll also look into how the what effects we expect the city to see, especially in terms of crime. That's a big question many of you had. That's coming up tomorrow at 6 Eastern right here on News 10.